is Kieran in the Lake Stamper here in Michigan. I'm a demonstrator for Stampin' Up! So if you see some items you love, I'll have the links listed below. And if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. So today is a really cute Christmas box. It's just darling to put some uh, little trinkets in or little um, items that you might want to put underneath that tree. Uh, and they also coordinate with the brightly gleaming uh, cards that I did a few days ago. About, a, yeah, about maybe a week ago and they are gonna look gorgeous I'm gonna use the Christmas gleaming stamp set definitely gonna use this hammered folder love this folder if you if you, you if one thing you should really get is this folder it's just amazing what it can do to the look at this just the gold foil alone it's just amazing how pretty these look so um, I'm going to coordinate this little box so that when you have a card, you can coordinate the whole thing and it makes a beautiful, a beautiful vision and a, bit, a pretty visual, actually. So we're going to do the base first. And the base is going to be at 7 and 7 eighths times 7 and 7 eighths. All right, so this is the first set. The second is my lid. My lid's going to be at 7 by seven okay so the first one if you uh want to cut your uh construct your cardstock out um i'm using mossy meadow and it's going to be seven seven eighths times seven seven eighths and we're going to score it on all four sides at two inches so let's just score really quick so easy with my scoring tool love this this you you can also get this on stampin up it's fantastic it's not expensive really fun to use and you're gonna love it all right two two turn it around do it again two again there we go one more time and at two do it just a little bit harder because it's uh, really it's nice construction uh, cardstock so you definitely want to make sure you get a, a nice line on there so you should see uh, two rectangles and then your infamous uh, er areas that we're going to cut and make those wedges again okay uh, so those will be nice we'll do a quickie uh, fold in just a second let's just do our top right now uh, our top is going to be our lid is at seven times seven all right we're going to score this in two places uh, okay, so the first one we're going to score at a uh, half an inch. All right, so it's one half inch, all four sides for the first, the first scoring. Okay, it's kind of hard to see it on this, but it, it, it is on here. The second one is uh, one and one half. So here's one and here's one half. So I'm just going to go right down the middle there. I'll show you on the other side once we're done. Turn it around and then one and one half. Turn, half inch. The half inch is a, is a little tricky to get into just because it's you don't have a lot of room to maneuver. And then one and a half. Turn it around. This is your last one. So we're at, we're at one half again. A half an inch and then one and a half. So your first one is a half. The second one's one and a half. So we've got that and you can see it's so much better on here. See that? So you see that four little areas right here on all corners. We're going to cut all of this off and only leave this little wedge area, okay? So it reminds you of that wedge. This is what we want because we're gonna have a, a little bit thicker uh, top and it's gonna be a little bit a little bit more support. Now, it'll, it'll come to life in just a second, but just to show you, you should have all these little lines, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10. All right, 10, 10, 10, 10. Um, and then we're gonna cut three of them off to make that wedge. All right, so we'll hold this for just a second. Let's move the tool since we're done. See how quick that is? Okay, 
So let's do a little scoring. All right. This way you can really see the box. This is so cute to add uh, whatever you want, like uh, jewelry would be kind of cute to have on there. Um, also, any kind of, gosh, all kinds of little tiny things that you could do. Uh, also, you could put a gift card in there because no one would know that it's a gift card, right? Uh, because, hello, <laughs> you fooled them. All right, so we're just kind of burnishing this just a little bit. And now we're going to do the usual wedge cut. Okay, you know the drill, right? I know. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to cut to the score line. Wedge it. Wedge. Isn't that, that's all you have to do. Uh, once you start doing boxes, you're going to get the drift on, oh, okay, that's what you do. That's all you have to do for this, the, especially for the base. The, the, the lid's a little bit more uh, intricate, especially if you're doing a, a, what we're doing today. It's going to have an extra support for the lid, and those are always nice to have. So wedge, wedge. Just think of cheese. Cut to the score line right up here. You see that? Score, wedge, wedge. I say that just so you don't cut that off by mistake. Um, I have done that. I've cut the whole thing off and had to start all over again. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, okay, so we're going to cut, wedge it, wedge. I really love this brightly gleaming uh, designer paper. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, it's going to go to a lot of homes this Christmas because I just love it. So I am going to take my snail and I'm going to start, see our wedge, all you have to do is tape the opposite side. First off, this is the same color, but you just turn it over and this is what you would do to tape uh, just your wedges. You don't have to worry about the rectangles, okay? Because they're going to be just fine once you put this together. All right, so we've we've got the snail on. We've uh, burnished it. Now we're going to start putting this box together. And it'll make sense once you see it. See, now that I've got the snail on my little wedge, I'm just going to measure that they go correct and they're right on the money. All right. And then we're going to line this up with the score line look how cute that is <laughs> and we're going to again measure go to the score line cute and then last but not least measure right to this you know right to the score line you don't have to do anything because you you burnished it really nicely and look look at that cute box isn't that darling? So you can put all kind of cute little trinkets in with some really pretty tissue paper. Darling, who wouldn't like that? And there's enough to put something in here. Um, even some candy with a gift uh, gift card in there. That would be darling too. So now we're going to put this to the side. Here comes the fun part. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to fold this just a little bit just so you can see where everything is. Uh, and I'll bring that up. To, I'm not going to burnish this. I just don't want to. It's finer uh, cardstock than your your thicker cardstock. So I just want to get it so you guys can see all the lines. Oops, I forgot this line. All right, so here's all the lines. Now you see that that four sum right there. We're going to cut the corner and leave this uh, wedge. Okay, so we're going to literally cut it off right here and cut it right here perfect and we're going to cut up to the score line and then all that will be left is this little piece right here and we're going to wedge this one later on but see look 
That's that's all that you should have on each corner. It's this little little guy here. We'll wedge that in just a second. Let's just get all these off first so that you can see the visual. Cut to the score line. Take those two boxes off or rectangles, you know. There we go. And then take this little guy. He's see we don't need these little ones. And you'll, you'll get the drift in just a second when we start putting this together. It's so pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to cut all the way to the score line. Leave as is. See? We're going to go to the next side. It's because it's real easy to get sidetracked. And then you cut the wrong piece off. And then you've got to start over again. So you don't want to do that. So you cut these two off. Cut this little guy off. And it looks like a tear when you when you when you see this. In just a second, I'll show you. Um, so, for instance, you'll see that this is this is here, this is right here, and then this is going to be your the the top of your base of your lid, okay? And this is going to support. So this is going to be so cool. So our last area to cut, and then we're going to do wedges again. We're going to do wedgies. All right, so simple, you guys. It's you don't have to go buy in boxes. Well, at well, at uh, at Hallmark this this year, you can make your own boxes. Really, you just need cardstock that is eight and a half by eleven. You don't even have to use the you know, twelve by twelve. Um, these will make a couple of them. So, all right, now we've got this all done. Now we're gonna wedge these like we do, uh, like we did this little guy. So we're going to wedge 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 There we go. See how it's really taking shape? Wedge wedge there we go. now we can put that back there and one more okay and a helpful hint is don't assume you you need to glue this side because if you glue this side this will be the inside of your box not the top we want this to be the top of our box, so I know it sounds odd, but we're going to snail the top of these wedges instead, okay? So that this will be our inside. Make sense? All right, so let's, let's get our little snail out. And this is a little bit more delicate paper, so you know, you don't have to go crazy and burnish and all that fun stuff. Just have the idea of where the lines are. You should be able to see them. We're gonna do a little, tape on our little wedges okay we're also going to do some tape on here oh but I'm going to wait a second just so I can get um, so I can give you an idea of what it's supposed to look like okay again we're going to do the same idea we're going to we're going to put this corner to corner and then this piece is going to go inside so now that you know I, I am going to put tape on this green part so there's tape on this side for the wedgies and this little guy is going to get it in the inside of the green all right so let's let's put this first side together all right corner to corner corner to corner there we go and then this little guy goes right in here, inside the box. So you should have a cute little line, a liner of the top of the box inside the, bo inside the box. So I'm just gonna use my bone folder just to give it a nice crease. Look how nice that looks. Okay, so we've got that that set. Now we already have this wedge already uh, snailed. 
we're going to snail the inside with the green again. We're going to put this side together. Oh, let's, you know what, since we only have a few left, let's just do this green as well. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the wedge. Score it on the score line. Glue it on the, there you go. Snail it or glue it. And then flip this inside. Flip this one inside after we, oh, do the last, uh, do the last fold. Such a cute box. Oh my God, it's so darling. And if you have to rearrange it, just do it before the glue dries. <laughs> right on. O-M-G. Okay, I'm going to put some more glue on this one. All right. Okay, now let's use the bone folder just because it's easier to get into and gives it a sharp edge and it really supports the glue once you've got it on there so it stays. There we go. See, there we go. We could work for a, a box place. <laughs> look how nice, look how nice the lines look on here too. Look how sharp they are. Especially when you use that bone folder, you know, you're really just making it nice, the, the, the crease really, really sharp, and it looks dark. Okay, we used the bone folder to edge everything and make it nice and uh, sharp with the outside of this. Now let's bring the box back in, put this with tissue paper, and you could just put a top on it and then put some ribbon on it and you'd be ready to go with your card, and that would be darling. Or we could dress this up a little bit. So we're going to take the top off, leave it right here. Um, and since it already has ornaments on it, I thought we'd try some fun stuff. I already had uh, used the, the hammered folder and I hammered these beautiful gold foil ornaments. Okay, and then I punched them right out in my puncher. Um, and whoops. <laughs> And then I said, oh, let's do some other fun stuff. Let's do Delegata stamping, which is so cool. This is sold out right now uh, on our site, but you can get this at Joann's for uh, your 40% discount coupon. So, and so it come, this one I'm using is Celestial Copper. There's also a silver and a ruby red. Um, just some really pretty colors. So to give you an idea of what this looks like, I'll do a quickie here. Um, and you know what? I'm going to use uh, Fairy Vanilla. So, um, actually, would Fairy Vanilla look good? Yep, absolutely. So, I'm going to just stamp this up, get it all nice and juicy. And let's just do one. It's, oh my God, it's. I wish you could see it. I'm going to put it close up, but it's absolutely stunning. I did some in Whisper White, but I'm loving the, uh, the uh, Very Vanilla. So let's shut that. Love it. Go get this, okay? It's amazing. Uh, and then let's use our puncher. Look how pretty that is. Look, look, look. It's so pretty. It looks like heat embossed. That's what I like about it. Okay, we're just going to measure this up right up to the... I like to secure it before I punch it. Love it. Punch. Next one. Love. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. All right, so we've got the very vanilla. And here's the Whisper White. So... I'm thinking the Whisper White is okay, but it doesn't really match as well as the Very Vanilla, so I'm glad I'll just put that aside for something else. And let's also uh, do a little detail on these little guys here. I've got my handy dandy little tool here, which I love. If I, if I lose my Cricut, I know I've got the um, other stuff from Stampin' Up, but I still love this one. <laughs> it's got the hook on it. I'm going to put about three of them on there and then um, see where we're at. How's that? These are so pretty. And the copper goes with the copper celestial. So, so, so pretty. 
Um, the other idea that we could also do is, um, I'm going to put one more, I think, on here. Yeah. We could also use these really pretty, uh, brightly gleaming foil elements as well as if you wanted to use any of this stuff. So we can open this up and see what the goodies are. Why not, right? And it comes in sheets, all right? So here's the one sheet, and you can actually use some of the leaves or the stars or the big star. You could put a star on here if you wanted to. That would be pretty too. Uh, it's nice that they're sheets of, uh, of layered foil, basically. See that? So, very nice. All right, okay, so now that we've got the three ornaments, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of stagger them. I've already put a dot on one of them, okay? And then I'm going to put a dot right here to make it like a, a three-tiered three uh, ornament. Um, I'm going to use the dots. I think they are a lot stronger than just using your snail. So I'm just gonna, oops. <laughs> just going to, God, that came right up, thank gosh. I'm just gonna kind of uh, put him to the side. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just moving that glue just a little bit. Oh, and it came right off. That's cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. So I want to do this. I want to do it like right here. Okay, so this one has it right there. So I think I'm going to just put him right here. Okay, so I'm just going to put the dot right on the side of the ornament, of the gold ornament. And there we go. Perfect. Takes a little maneuvering until you find out which where, where you really want this, you know. Uh, but once you get where you wanted it, then it's like, okay, that's that's it. I'm done. In fact, let's just move him just a little bit. I'm just going to move him again, kind of in the same area that I moved this one. Um, I kind of like the the way it looks staggered. It's staggered, but they still have their their top ornament tops and I think that was the problem if I started doing it getting too fancy on it 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 mess it messes it all up so I'm also going to use my little facets my, <clears throat> my little gold facets I really like these um, they actually make a nice topper for the ornament and why not just put those on and I'll put that right where that little glue is that'll make it really stay perfect and then this one here. And these don't need any uh, any embellishments. I think the hammered look itself gives it the embellishment that you want. And isn't that pretty? Just for a little topper. Um, it, you know, you, could, you don't have to do them on all the boxes, but isn't that darling? And I have ribbons already done because I don't like to mess around with them because it's, it's such a pain. But I'm going to pop these up, okay? So definitely let's get our little, our dimensionals. Um, and let's pop those babies right up. So then we're not thinking about it too much. And, you know, this is a, a really cute little box. It could be something really special. So maybe that's a, a good idea to maybe uh, jazz it up just a little bit. Uh, you know, cute little keepsake for a little bit anyway. Um, and who's who, who's not gonna like a, a little box this pretty underneath the tree? I would I would love it. Um, there we go. Okay, so we'll just take these off. Takes two seconds, right, ladies? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's why I have nails. Now make sure your top is right side up with the ornaments. This is so pretty, so, so pretty. Okay, now I think I'm gonna lower it just a little bit before I put it on there, just because I need the, right there. Okay, it's on, it's on. So pretty, isn't that cute? I love it, <laughs> love it. All right, now, last but not least, for oh, well, we need to buy the gift, too. <laughs> Don't forget the gift. Put a little uh, 
dot right on your ribbon, uh, whichever one you're using. You know, um, I've got the ribbon that goes with this, the Merry Christmas ribbon, um, but I didn't feel like making a bow. So <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make it easy on myself. And I'm just gonna put this right on top. That makes a gorgeous little box. Who's not gonna wanna open this one for Christmas? I think not. <laughs> I mean, how cute are these to go with them? Look at that. So here's your Merry Christmas uh, uh, ribbon if you want to use that one instead. Um, or buy some already done so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but it's so darling. I thought it would be a great little, um, great little box for your holiday gift giving and then you can you can pair it up with one of your pretty brightly gleaming uh, cards and it'll be a beautiful beautiful Christmas underneath that tree so um, I hope you enjoy this if you did uh, smash that subscribe button and if you like any of the items listed I'll have them listed below so hey have a great weekend and I'll see you soon bye